Okay, so welcome back to the second video. So what we're going to do in this video is to brainstorm some candidate classes using CRC cards. So you'll see we have our nouns, verbs and adjectives, our word analysis from last time, and we're going to build on that. So what we're going to do is we're going to define uh, for our classes their responsibility, what other classes they collaborate with, and perhaps some attributes. But before we do that, I want to describe what CRC cards are. Okay, so CRC cards uh, is a way to brainstorm your design. Now normally we would use physical cardboard like index cards, you know those yellow index cards you, you flip over, so normally we'd use those and the advantage of that is that you can write stuff down on the card and you can put them on a horizontal surface like a large table and many people can collaborate and you can move the cards around to to sort of show the relationship between the classes. So each card represents a, a class and you write on it its responsibility and and by moving the classes around you can get a feel for the collaboration but you all also write the collaboration on. So CRC therefore stands for uh, C for class, the name of the class, R for responsibility, you just have a, a short um, paragraph about what the class's responsibility is and the second C, the last C, is for collaboration. So you list what other classes this class will collaborate with. Now what collaboration means is it will call a method of the other class to help get its own responsibility done. Alright, so what I'm going to do in uh, this video is use a uh, online CRC making tool um, rather than the physical cards. So if you just uh, Google CRC Maker, it should come up as the first item. So if you click on that, you should get uh, this screen. You can show and hide controls and you just create new cards. It's pretty simple. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to add, we're going to think about some candidate classes based on these nouns here and we're going to just create classes for them and uh, start thinking about some responsibilities and perhaps some attributes. Alright, so we'll start by creating a new card and looking over here I think, I'll skip bank, I think customer is a good obvious candidate for a class and I'll skip superclasses and subclasses for the moment. What's its responsibility? Okay, it's really just storing contact details of the customer. All right, and um, what collaborators do you think it has? So it's pretty obvious it'll ha our customers have accounts, so I'm sort of jumping ahead. So we're going to have another class called Account Next. And what I like to do is uh, annotate this with a little bit more information about how many accounts does a, does a customer have. And they could have none, they could have many, so I just put a star to represent many. And let's, uh, let's fix that. And what sort of attributes might it have? Well, just a name for the moment will do, just to give us an idea of what sort of uh, enhance the explanation of the responsibility. All right, so we just save that card, and it appears there. All right, so we better create that um, that uh, account class as well, and it's obviously going to collaborate with customer uh, the other way. And how many uh, customers does an account have? Well, that's one to two. All right, so what's this class's responsibility? Um, it's just going to manage the account information. So what would that information be? We'll try to think of some attributes. So that would probably be the balance. Balance and we've also got, uh, what are some other, we've got balance, we've got limit. Does limit apply to accounts? Yep, we had an overdraft limit. So overdraft came from an adjective there. It's qualifying what the limit is about. So that's probably a good um, analysis of that class. Uh, and we know we also want to know about um, 
We also need to for VIP customers to calculate the total of all the balances. So perhaps another responsibility would be to calculate the total balance by adding up all these balances. All right. Okay, so now we've got two uh, cards in there. And I think I'll create another card for transaction we've got here. So these two turned out to be attributes, balance and limit, and customer account and transaction seem like pretty good uh, uh, candidates for classes. So we'll just create that. You don't have to try to design ahead and make it perfect, just if you think it could be a class, make it a class, whack in what you think its responsibility should be. So this one will record a single transaction. And um, probably run the transaction as well. Okay, and what sort of attributes might that have? Um, well, it has to have the amount of the transaction, so that would be um, how much it's depositing, withdrawing, but how do we know if it's which one it is, deposit or withdraw? So maybe we should have a type attribute, which is either deposit or with withdraw. Because so we don't know if this is right, but we're gonna just go with it anyway, and we can figure that out later as we brainstorm. So collaborators, um, obviously a transaction has to be related to an account, and how many accounts would it have? We can really only run a transaction on one account, so it should only be associated with one account. All right, so that sort of gives us a a good start of some some core candidate classes and how they would collaborate with each other. All right, so in the next video, I'm going to be doing some role playing, some scenarios using these classes just to sort of test them. And um, these ones I just defined. And uh, we might, if we find some issues, we'll have to refine our design. So that may be um, changing responsibilities, it may mean adding some more classes. Who knows? We'll see what happens. All right. Thanks for listening.